Now at 1030, a tiny baby, the smallest ever born at Cedar sinai Medical Center, graduated today. Finally, strong enough to go home with her parents. Eliana Lopez was just 13 ounces when she was born, and today she weighs 17 pounds, a tiny miracle who beat the odds. And she's flashing a big smile. Rachel Metatov live at Cedar sinai with more on Eliana's graduation day. Rachel. Micah Cher, she's known as their miracle baby. Ellie's parents say they knew this day would come. They just didn't know exactly when it would be, and they are absolutely thrilled about this next step in her journey toward recovery. A well-deserved standing ovation from nurses and staff. Eliana Lopez, the smallest baby ever born at Cedar sinai Medical Center, is escorted by her proud parents, Cecia and Boris, as she exits Gurin Children's Hospital for the first time since her birth almost 10 months ago. I had the opportunity to see her finish developing with the help of these amazing doctors and that has been something that we will never take for granted. Cecia Juarez went into labor three and a half months early in the spring of 2023. Her precious Ellie was born weighing just 13 ounces, not even a pound, with slim chances at survival. She struggled with chronic lung disease and had multiple setbacks during her 300 plus days in the hospital. But now at a much stronger 17 pounds. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Congratulations. Ellie is graduating from her time in the NICU. Her parents moving the tassel from one side to the other, symbolizing this long awaited milestone in her life. Today we get to take our daughter home after 10 months. Yes. We came last spring in 2023 and we said after the summer, for sure in the fall we're gonna take her home and then the holidays came and said for sure in the winter and here we are. This sweet little girl will continue to need medical intervention, including a feeding tube and oxygen. We'll go home with the baby who hasn't been out in the real world, which I think it's the real challenge. And we will have to be there to support her and and show her the world and show her what she's been missing for the past 10 months. Going home. CCS says when her daughter is old enough to watch this report, she hopes she takes away this. You can graduate from the NICU. You can do anything in your life. And Ellie will have to have regular medical attention for the next couple of months, but is expected to recover well. In an effort to support her needs, her family set up a GoFundMe page, which you can find under this story on our website. We're live in Beverly Grove tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Share Micah back to you in the studio. All right, Rachel, thank you. All